Lens Baby kindly sent me the Soft Focus Fat Correct Kit, which you'll see me unpacking in quite a bougie way here, just to make it really cool for you all. It's a hard case, you can see, unzips fabulous. By the way, nice branding. And inside you get a Composer Pro, you get these aperture discs, which I'll show you how to use later. You get the Soft Focus 2, which is a great lens. We also get these macro step-up rings, if you like, um, three of them. And then you get the Sweet 50, Hi, I'm Candy, and I'm going to talk to you about what was just in that video, because you probably flew for it and were like, okay, all the noise are annoying, and I spoke quite fast. So, inside that box that got delivered to me was this, and you're like, what is that? How cute is this? Right, I know you're probably not interested in cases like I'm not normally, but this is great handle sturdiness, and this comes in the kit, okay? Look, one thing I love about Lens Baby is that everything has branded. So this is cool, I'm gonna put that down. So I'm gonna open it up for you. Let me cut. This is where it all goes wrong and my nails are gnarly. Anyway, <laughs> can I just say, the satisfaction of those two is brilliant. So look at this, foam, for extra protection kids, extra protection. Okay, inside, uh, I wanna say sorry lens baby, I haven't unwrapped the lens cloth, although I do love it, as you tell, I love color. So I haven't unwrapped it yet, but lens cloth, okay? And then, to show you there's individual compartments okay and you're like oh, i'm not really caring i care because i have to carry this stuff around and i want it to look cool but i also want it to be practical and this gives me space but look if you have a look there's space to put your other lenses in i have a lot of lens babies those who don't know i was already a lens baby user long before i became an ambassador so yeah so inside this one we have the aperture disc which you saw me get out in the video and share the individual ones they are marked on the back as uh, soft focus if you're wondering how we get them out i'm going to show you later on i'm going to go through each of the parts individually i'm going to put this video in chapters so you can so much easily follow along okay so we have the actual composer pro there and then already fitted into it for mine is the sweet 50 okay don't worry i'm gonna take apart again show you then inside this second level blend is the soft focus 2 it's in like a protector case there so that's really i really like that also branded well done lens baby and then the macro step up um filters which are in this cute little look at that Beautiful. We're going to go through them individually. Okay, so I'm going to take each part and just show you what it does. And so you can see it because I think it's really important if you're going to buy a kit, and you see the versatility of it. And rather than me just go, this is what it all does. I'm going to show you individually what everything does. Okay, obviously, you not including the lens cloth because I'd like to think you know what that does. But if you need a video, you can hit me up. Okay, so let's go for it. Just first out of the box is the Composer Pro. Now, please note that this is fitted with a lens. We're just going to take that and easy. It's a twist and a pull. Like that easy. Let me put it down. Okay. So you can get these to fit on most cameras that are out there. Lens maybe have a whole list of who they um, have lenses uh, compatible with. Please go check out their website. Obviously, links are below. So this is the Composer Pro. I'm just going to show you. So your lens, if you like, your optical fits in here. Um, that's obviously connects to your camera. Notice this one says Nikon because I'm using it on a Nikon. So Nikon, I keep getting told off for that. So this first ring here is your locking ring. You think, Why do I need a locking ring? Well, let me just unlock it by twisting. See, simple action, just like, I feel like one of those QVC girls. Just twist <laughs> to release. Twist and to release. Anyway, look, it moves. Now you might think, oh, it's similar to the Soul 45 or the uh, Control Freak 3G. Kind of similar, but this is just smoother. There's no pulling forward. It's no bellow action, if you like, but this is really nice, really how cute is that? ASMR, ASMR. Anyway, once you've got it into lock, like once you once you get used to this, okay, you'll understand what this means. So you you get the focal that you want. You can lock it with a quick twist, and then it doesn't move. Okay, with some budging, it might move, but who's going to be doing that? And then this second ring is like your focusing ring, okay? Remember, they're all manual focus here, okay? They don't talk to your camera, which is kind of nice. And I have said this in a few videos. This is about giving back to photographers. I feel like sometimes we go digital you kind of lose the connection. Um, and this kind of really gets back in my opinion. So that's what it does. And you can see like unlock again, it's all that I haven't locked it fully, unlock it, unlock it and you can move it. Yeah. So that's the Composer Pro, just undo it here. Okay, I'm gonna lock it back in place. Okay, and the Composer Pro allows you to bend. I've got some footage here that I'll show you just essentially what it does so you can see what it does to the images um, as we go forward because every one of the opticals I'm gonna do is gonna be put into one of these so you'll understand what that means. So I have seen sometimes people are worried about fitting them in. See here, you can just see these little marks here and on your lens, you on your optical, you will also, let me show you, will also have them. So that little hollow uh, circle, just line them up. You can just see there, lined up, click, 
and they're in. That's it. And then this oh, solid circle is where your aperture setting is. So you move it around. If I do it like this, you can just about make it out. There we go. Going around. So at the minute I'm on f2.5. Quick pinch, release it. And, and <laughs> quick release it, drop it on the floor. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, lens baby. <laughs> I'm gonna go through some real specifics with you. Like I said, this is broken down to chapters, and I think it's really important whenever you purchase anything that you understand its full capabilities and you can see if it adjusts. When you buy a kit, I don't want you to ever feel like, oh, I've bought a kit and I can only use certain lenses. I don't, they're not really fitting in with me. Can I just say, don't just think of it as macro. Yes, you get the macro filters, but I've used it for all sorts of things, which I'm gonna show you in the forthcoming um, images and pictures. 350 is an optic that gives a center spot of focus and then really blurry, dreamy, buttery bokeh all around, okay? The soft focus is really evident. And then when you pair it with the Composer Pro, you can then sort of move that soft spot further to the edge of the frame or up or down, wherever you want, okay? And I'll show this in the video footage so you can see that. And it gives this beautiful, distortion that can make it look so ethereal and otherworldly, but it's also beautiful for portraits uh, that are just standardized, but you want that little bit of something. I really enjoyed it. And I have to say, I think this is one of my favorite optics. Obviously I have quite a few um, lens, baby lenses, but this one I find for my style of photography just superb. So with this one, you can just see in there, um, there is some Tread, Fred, Fred, Tread, Spreads, which you can add the micro uh, filters onto. So when you add those micro filters, you can actually enhance it. The kit comes with three micro filters and it goes up to plus four, which I think is a pretty epic one. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I have filters that go up to plus 10, but I have think I've used them never. <laughs> plus four is more than adequate. It has such capability. I love it. I will say, what I'm loving with using at the moment is to have this kind of ethereal look. And I'm going to do a full shoot on this, but I just, it lends itself so much to like versatility for maternity, for wedding, for just product, to, to makeup, to like promo pictures of a band. You can imagine this band like in this cool kind of dance move and there's all this blurriness. But I, I mean, I, the, I will, I hate to be that cliche, but the possibilities are endless. And yeah, this is one of the reasons why this is my favorite. I did mention about the macro filters you get. So, oh, that noise. Inside these pockets protective are the rings. Um, so this one is, oh, let me spin it round, <laughs> plus one. So they can fit on both of the optics you've been sent. Oh, they do have their sizes somewhere, but I'm rubbish. In fact, it might even be on them. Yeah, 46 diameter, there you go. Uh, this one is a plus two. And then my favorite, I have to be for that extra drama, because it goes all about the drama. I mean, this collar, I just <laughs> I can't decide if I'm Velma or Austin Powers Extra. Okay, so this is a plus four, by the way, branded. <laughs> well done, Lens Baby. <laughs> Just in case you're in any doubts which one's the best, obviously Lens Baby. So let's now move on to the soft focus too. So let's connect those two hollow circles, twist it, and it's now in, okay? So once again, just to go over in the Pro, in the Composer Pro, this is the locking ring, and this is the focusing ring. You can see that pushing the lens in and out, okay? So I'm gonna lock this off for now. So this one is a slightly different lens to what is the uh, Sweet 50. So let me just open it up. You can see that the lens glass is a lot more deeply recessed into the into there, whereas before the 50 was a bit closer. And you can also see, once again, you've got the threads. But what you might be able to see just in the bottom there, you can just see that, that shiny object. That is a metal clip, and that is for your aperture ring, aperture, your aperture discs that you can slot in. I'm gonna explain it all to you because I, I think this is quite exciting. It's so, it's so creative. Like you can use it without these. So please don't think you have to add them, but you can use it without. So I'm gonna fully extend it. Again, this is from 2.5 to F22. So you get a full range if you like, or, I mean, we're not talking like 1.8, 1.4 here, but we're definitely getting a range. And we also get, once again, with teaming it with a composer, you get the bendability. So the soft focus lens works in two very distinctive ways. When you have a wide open aperture, you get this haziness, this dreamy glow, almost halo effect with sharp detailing. But once you start going up to the, like maybe beyond F5.6 and you start hitting like maybe, I don't know, F8 is particularly, you get the sharper detail, okay? And it goes from sort of like quite an impressionistic look but to a sharper one, still with that slight halo, but the focus is very soft still, but you definitely see sharpness. The lens where we do give you a protector for your optics, which is this plastic uh, logoed container. You just twist it like it's a lens cap. If you like, put it on, twist it and it's protected. 
So I mentioned before about the Lens Baby Aperture Disc, and this is them in their little case. Look at that. And at the end here, it, the end here, you just pop this off, and that's your magnet to help you pull them in and out of the of the optic. And I'll just show you how you do that. But inside first, let me just pop it open, get them out. You take the lid off, pop that down there. You get these aperture discs. So if you notice, these have got varying sizes of holes. They're getting bigger. And then my favourite is this first one, which I think is just lovely. I'm going to show you what they do, the effect they have, but just want to demonstrate how easy they are to put in and take out. There's your optic. Now, it is only with the, the um, soft focus that these fit in with the kit ones. OK, so soft focus, we're going to pop this in. There it is. Pop it in. It's already in. No extra jiggly pokery, no whacking your finger in there, it's all done. And then when you get it out, you just use the magnet to pop it out, like literally, bloop, bloop, like so, and it's out. Look at that. In, pen. I was going to do that on camera, but I feel like you'd be like, we know how to do this. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Now, you might think, well, what does that effect do? What does that what's it do? It changes the bokeh, particularly anything that's reflective, because remember, this is a hazy, a hazy uh, effect. This is a hazy, soft focus, ultra dreamy. It can still be super sharp as well, though, when you start pushing beyond f5.6. But it, even though there's details in f2.5, it has got this glowy effect. So um, when you start pushing up your aperture, so you start getting towards 5.6, this starburst pattern, if you like, becomes more distinctive. It's such a cool effect. I can imagine this is like um, at a party or it'd be so cool with a first dance. I'm gonna have a go at like maybe a band or something. It'd be really cool with the extra lights. But even in my office when I was just doing some tests, anything reflective, it will just give that burst too, which was really cool to see how just how much stuff was reflective just from my view from my office. Because I think it's really important to see the versatility of this lens and what it can do for you. Because if when you buy a kit, you won't be able to use the whole thing, right? There's nothing worse than getting a kit and only using one or two items. See the threads here? You can just see them just there. You can have the macro filters added on as well and go from one to plus four. And that can also give effect. When you do this though, when you're moving it, the, the there is just this utterly surreal thing that happens in the lens. Now I thought the Sweet 50 was really kind of ethereal. This is another element of it. This is like, this is like surreal and then some extra. This is, this is ethereal, then more magic. It's something so cool about it. You can go from like this really cool impressionistic style of art to some very sharp imagery with this soft dreamy focus off the end. I mean, I, I can't wait to use it. I mean, I've used it in portraits. I've done a bit with some friends just out and about. I, I love this. And now between the two, I couldn't pick a favorite. I'll be honest. I thought it was a sweet 50, but the more I use it, the more I've spoken about it to you guys, definitely feeling something different. But I want you to have a look at it and tell me what you think. I have to say for a kit, I don't think there's anything in that kit that's done. I even love like the lens cloth because you got to keep these optics clean. Uh, I really, really like this. Now, I have reviewed a few of their Lens Baby lenses and I own most of what they've brought out from my own pocket. I haven't been paid for that. So, um, so yeah, definitely go check these out. This whole kit comes in that case. It's so adaptable. I would, what I love is the versatility of it. I know one goes, oh, the versatility, any lens is versatile, we just need how to use it. But this, I can jump between looks. I've got it all in that case. I can just literally go, well, I'm going to stick with the soft focus today and get this cool vibe. I feel like the soft focus has... A kind of, for me, there's a hint of pinhole magic in there. There's also a bit of the Soul 45 creeping in and some of the velvet. It's like they all come together and and it's just, it's just, it's just like a great love child of it. Now that's just my impression of it. It's nothing that Lens Baby has said or anything, but for me, it's so cool. Years ago, I bought a Twist 60 from Lens Baby at the NEC photo show years ago before I was an ambassador and um, I've used it and I don't use it as much as I think I could because you know it's a very distinctive look and I, I don't want to just take one lens out of me but now I can take the optic out of that lens and whack it into the Composer Pro and not only can I get the twistness of the background but I can also add it to this and bend it so I think this is just this this itself pays dividends like this Chef's kiss, as the kids say. Uh, I'm really loving it. I want you to enjoy the footage. I have done this in chapters so you can have a look and skip to what you want. There is a discount code, obviously, with myself. And if you are in the UK, currently I have a discount code with Works. Please go check them out. Please go check out Lens Baby. I am going to do a full tutorial on how you use these a little bit more because that's the next video for you. As ever, I've been Candy. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, please go check out Lens Baby, all of their social medias, and I'll see you on my social media, I guess. Uh, take care. Bye.